Hello friends. Welcome back. What? You didn't recognize me? I am your friend Rahul. We have learnt a lot together in the past. Till now, we have understood what are spherical mirrors, how the images are formed by them. We drew ray diagrams, discussed the size and nature of the image, and also marked the points like C, F, P. Talked even about various distances like R and F. This distance, the size, can we make a math formula out of all these values? Yes. A relation has been observed among these distances, which is also known as mirror formula. According to the law of mathematics, it is advisable to understand the sign convention before using the formula. According to the new Cartesian sign convention, it is necessary for us to know five rules. One, let P of the mirror be placed at the O of the coordinate system. Number two, the object will always be placed to the left of the mirror. That means the light coming from the object will always fall from the left side of the mirror. Number three. All distances parallel to the main axis will be measured from the pole. Number four, all distances to the right of the origin point will be considered positive, and all distances to the left will be negative. Number five, the distances perpendicular to and above the main axis will be positive, and the distances below will be negative. The distance of the object from the pole is known as the object distance, and the distance of the image is known as image distance. is represented by the symbol u and v. If focal distance is represented by f, then the relation of these three quantities is known as mirrored formula. This formula is valid for all types of spherical mirrors. Only the new Cartesian sign convention needs to be taken care of. The object distance will always be negative as the object is placed to the left of the mirror. In mirror, distance of real image is taken as negative and distance of virtual image is taken as positive. We see that sometimes the image is larger than the object and sometimes smaller. How large or small they are, along with the mirror formula, another relation is very important, which is called magnification. Magnification is the ratio of the height of the image to the height of the object, which tells us how many times the image is larger or smaller with respect to the object. Magnification is represented by m. We can also represent it in terms of object and image distance. You must have read in your books that magnification is negative for a real image and positive for a virtual image. Why? Have you ever thought of it? If we notice, we will get to know that real images are always inverted and virtual images are always erect. And we already know the symbols of the inverted and erect images. This is also the reason for the sign of magnification of real and virtual images. Here, this video ends with the topic. I hope you have liked it. Now I'll have to leave, as I need to go to my friend Aisha to discuss the next topic for the video. So see you in the next video. Bye. Take care.